hello youtube welcome back to my channel here i go with a new video showing you how i did these pan dulce inspired nails mm, there's no specific brand i am using with this color i just needed a light brown bread color you know so if you're wondering where i got this color from it's actually no name brand but i found it at my local beauty supply in oakland called generation nails i will try and post all the materials i used on this video in my description box so wait on that um we're gonna go straight into the details of this design so i'm not gonna show you how i file and buff i'm just gonna go straight to the design i'll explain everything right now so once this is filed and buff, what I'm gonna do is apply a gel matte top coat. Once I do that, you know, you wipe off the sticky layer from the top and can pick the color you want. Usually the traditional colors for pan dulce is pink, brown, yellow, and white. Obviously you can use any color you want but if you want to go traditional those are the colors to use so i picked out a neon pink for this set the technique i'm going to use you guys have seen it before in my channel it's where i do the design and i pour acrylic over it to give it a 3d ish matte effect which i love that effect i don't know why i'm in love with that where it just gives the nails texture and all that it looks cool when the base is shiny and the top is like matte but for this set it's going to be all completely matte so i'm gonna go ahead and end the voice over here just because these are super easy steps just by watching them you know what to do so this is a matte top coat i'm using i'm going to cure it under the led lamp wipe off the residue and start the stripes of the design if you want you can get to be if you want to be more detailed because i wasn't as detailed as i wanted to in this video just because i had a client coming in in a few minutes so i kind of rushed it through just because i was so excited to put it up for you guys and a lot of you guys have been requesting it because i guess it's something that no one has seen just yet that's my thought you know but you never know so once I'm done with the design, like I've said before, I pour the acrylic over it, cure it, and then to detail out the design to some of the gel bled onto each other, I'm going to clean it up with a carbide that's gonna give it even a deeper like 3D effect, which is cool. Um, you'll see at the end. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and ask and I'll answer anything you have doubts about but just make sure i cured the gel for a minute and a half just because you know it's thicker and then you apply the acrylic powder over it so i want to make sure it's completely dry because i'm going to file after this design is set so thank you for watching i know i rushed this voiceover through you know but i was just too excited to do this this tutorial i don't even know if it, i want to call it a tutorial you know it was it's like a just watch how i did this design <laughs> but this design came about um from this pink set i did on my cousin that she let me practice on because i got an idea for dia de los muertos nails and i wanted to do a you know dia de los muertos theme usually dia de los muertos involves you know the pan dulce flowers you know very traditional you know to have these things on those days so just wait on that set but that will come till this till november because you know day of the dead is usually the beginning of november and yeah this her nails were like a practice run to see if i was able to achieve what i wanted to just because i had this thought in my head and it did so this is not super detailed but hopefully i perfect the effect by then so hope you guys like it tag me on 
you know on social media instagram to show me what you came up with you know for this design and don't forget to comment like and subscribe bye